All right, here we go. Um, back to our breaking news. We mentioned at the top of the hour, SpaceX attempting its sixth test launch of its prototype Starship vehicle. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is being joined by President-elect Donald Trump. Morgan Brennan is with us now as the rocket gets set to land right now. Morgan. Hi, Melissa. That's right. So this is the sixth test flight of Starship. And what you're seeing on your screen right now is that super heavy booster, um, which is part of what makes the Starship uh, system the most powerful rocket system to ever fly, uh, coming back to land um, at Starbase in South Texas. Now, what's on your screen right now is, is the Starship vehicle, which is doing a suborbital flight. Um, and it's going to test some different maneuvers. It's going to test a Raptor engine in space uh, and do some other experiments before it lands in the Indian Ocean. That's what's on your screen right now. But the other piece of this, uh, and very signature to SpaceX, is this testing of reusability. So for the super heavy booster, it's hard. Um, uh, we were looking for a landing there. I don't see it on the screen. Um, but... Uh, that is was a key part uh, of this test as well. Um, so, of course, as you mentioned, President-elect Trump is on site in Starbase uh, for all of this, which really signals how this incoming. And there he is. You can see him on the screen with with, with Musk. And actually, that is General Chad Saltzman, who heads uh, the Space Force side of President Trump as well, um, the U.S. Space Force. They are on site. It really signals what the space policy um, push is potentially going to be under this incoming administration. Um, the fact that there is uh, an expectation that national security from a space standpoint is going to ramp, that the Artemis lunar program is now going to ramp to bring astronauts back to the moon, and that uh, potentially we see a plan to uh, go to Mars within this next four-year term, too. So that is Starbase on your screen right now, and it looks like I'm doing this in real time, but um, trying to assess here uh, the landing um, of the booster. Um, but I will, if you want to come back to me in just a moment, I'm going to listen in. Yeah, it looks like um, something landed in the water would have been the, the super heavy booster that would have splashed down in the ocean, presumably, Morgan. Um, but, yes, it's a difficult Thank thing to you. decipher yeah. real time <laughs> as the shots keep switching back and forth. Um, Pre presumably, Morgan, though, I mean, given that Elon Musk is, is so within Donald Trump's orbit, if you will, uh, SpaceX <laughs> will benefit and, and could increase its government contracts. Potentially, I think you're going to see that happen with all of commercial space um, as, as space policy is expected to, you know, sort of. And, that, and by the way, that, um, particularly on the national security side, but that is a process that's been going on through a, a number of administrations now. And it does look like, to your point, yes, the super heavy booster has flashed down in the ocean. So this was not a successful catch by those metal chopsticks at, at Starbase. Um, but keep in mind, this is a test flight. This is the sixth test flight. And what Musk and SpaceX are doing with Starship is basically unheard of. So this is a vehicle that is very, very powerful. It's been designed to be fully reusable, which is the holy grail of spaceflight. Nobody's been able to do that before. And when you see these attempts at landings, no one else is doing these types of attempts at landings with rockets. We obviously know the Falcon Heavy does, does them regularly. Um, we know, I mean, the Falcon 9 as well as the Falcon Heavy. Um, so it doesn't look like that cart was successful, but now you got to watch Starship itself and see how those tests uh, in space go from here. But all of this is part of that iterative process that SpaceX mm -hmm. goes through as it does design these vehicles.